You know, this guy right here, he won't let me leave. You need to, you need to lift the gate or else I'm going to lift it myself. You, you, you're kidnapping me. <laughs> Well, no, I'm not, cause I, because I don't, because I don't consent to any searches or seizures. I'm not giving my name. I didn't commit a crime. Well, well, I didn't commit a crime. No, I didn't commit a crime though. There was no crime. They're not letting me out of here. They're not letting me out of here. I need to be free to go. We can, we can let you out of here. Hmm? I didn't know who you are. No, 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 you're not. Because that's because hey, this is not a stop and ID state. Michigan is not. I got my First Amendment to stay to stay secure in my privacy, and they're going to let me out of here. If they don't want me here, I won't come back here. But they're going to let me out of here. I didn't commit a crime. You're not getting my ID. You nor nor are you looking in my car. I'm trying to leave. He told me not to come back. I said I'm not coming back. But you're not going to get my ID. That's not how the law works. That's not how the trespass works. I'm not nowhere. I'm nowhere. I'm not answering questions to you. You can think whatever you want to think, and you can do whatever you want to do. But you're going to let me go. And they're not getting inside of this car. And they're going to let me go. And, I, and I'm going and I'm going to sue. Him. Am I free to go? Am I free to go? Am I free to go? That's all I need to know. Am I free to go? Other than that, you get your fat on my face. Yeah! Yeah! We out of here, right? Free to go. Told you, fat <laughs> Told you. Ah, shut the fuck up. You're going to be on YouTube. You, I know you can't wait to see your mother Yeah! Walk of shame, Like I told you, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I told you, I'm leaving. You will never hold me, hoes. Yeah! 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 What? Okay! On October 9th, 2024, Gigging It Good was picking up a DoorDash order from Menards in Aonia County, Michigan. When he left, the facility demanded that he leave his car and that they be able to search it. He refused to assist them in giving up his own Fourth Amendment rights. So he denied the search. Then they barricaded him in the facility and called the Ionia County Sheriff's Department in Ionia County, Michigan. They showed up and immediately wanted some of that ID candy. They also wanted to search his vehicle. What they weren't expecting was the driver knew his rights better than they did. Did these cops violate this driver's rights? Yeah! A lot of you must be asking yourselves, What? kind of training these cops got. Because none of this behavior was... Okay! I love the celebration at the end of this citizen's victory. It was absolutely incredible, just like his knowledge of the law. Both the employees at Menards and these cops got completely owned. So what do you guys think about starting this video? Yeah! yeah. Okay! You know, this guy right here, he won't let me leave. I have no clue why. A lot of you guys might be thinking to yourself, well, it's kind of like Walmart. If you don't want to be searched on your way out, don't shop there. Well, this company doesn't have a search policy. And this driver is only picking up a DoorDash. Pretty strange, with no search policy in place, a bunch of white people want to search the only black guy leaving the lot. However, what's even worse, under Michigan state statute, they're actually currently engaged in kidnapping. Michigan Penal Code Act 328 of 1931. Restrain means to restrict a person's movements or to confine the person so as to interfere with that person's liberty without that person's consent or without legal authority. The restraint does not have to exist for any particular length of time. A person who commits the crime of kidnapping is guilty of a felony, punishable by imprisonment for life. So it's pretty clear that's what's happening here. Let's see if these guys go to jail. Zoom in on his name here. Like Cameron. No, I don't. I do not have no contractual agreement. You need to, you need to lift the gate or else I'm going to lift it myself. Well, yo, you're not going to hold me in here. I tell you that much, you're not going to. You need to, you need to open the gate. We have I'm gonna, I'm gonna blitz them and break it. I'm, I'm telling you right now. You need to move this gate. I don't give a shit about that. They've charged my ass. You, you, you're kidnapping me, and I got you right here. Is doing it. You're kidnapping. Move the gate. Move this goddamn gate. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it the up now. Lift it up now. Kind of like when you live in your neighborhood and you capture a wild animal. You imprison it, you throw it in a cage, and you invite all the other neighborhood kids to come see what you captured. All the white employees of Menards are going to come gaze their eyes upon the innocent black man that they caught. Without even being facetious, that just sounds really bad. 
I can see Menard's sales just plummeting. I'm not coming back. I won't. I don't care. Call them. I got it all on recording right here. Everything is recording. You're try You're not searching my car. I don't care. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I don't consent to that. You're going to let me the out of here. He can call the cops. He can hold everybody up. I'm recording everything. I have a right to cuss at you. You won't let me out. I'm not coming back here. Trust me. I won't. You can take down the license plate. You can write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a f let me the hell out of here. <laughs> Well, no, I'm not, cause I, because I don't, because I don't consent to any searches or seizures. I don't give a fuck. I don't work for y'all. Let me out of here. You can let me out of here, and I'll be gone. <laughs> I'm not coming back here, but you can call whoever you want to. I'm not. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not. You're not getting in my car. I picked up an order. I never got out of my vehicle. You can look at the camera. I never got out of my vehicle. The guy handed me the bag right through the door. I don't care. Yep. I don't care. Call, call. There, nobody's looking at my car. I guarantee you that okay. nobody's violating my rights. I guarantee you, nobody will violate my rights here tonight. Now, keep in mind, like I said earlier, private companies do not typically have the right to search citizens, as the Fourth Amendment protects citizens from unreasonable search and seizure. But there are some exceptions to the rule. One of those exceptions are contractual consent. For example, you walk into Walmart, and there's a sign that says. Any and all shoppers are subject to search. By continuing to enter the establishment and continue shopping, you're giving implied consent that at any point, you may be subject to search by the employees within the establishment. No such signage or policy exists within Menards. And secondly, he's not in there shopping. He received a DoorDash order and never got out of his car. So even if there was a search consent to shop, this driver wouldn't be subject to it. But the only thing better than one lawsuit is two. So here come the cops. I will sue. Oh, thank you. You're going to help me get, you're going to help me sue today. You're going to help me get a lawsuit today. Because I guarantee you, if somebody, you're holding me, you're holding me against my will. Josh, you're holding me against my will. Sir, you, sir. you are holding me against my will. I got you on recording holding me against my will. They're holding me against my will. They won't let me out of this gate because I came here to pick up this door that's right here that's scanned in. And they won't let me out because they want to check my trunk. They'll, they'll never check my trunk. That won't happen. So after about 20 minutes of capturing this black man for no reason at all, the Menards employees start to sweat, wondering just what's going to happen when law enforcement arrives. Will they be arrested for kidnapping a crime they noticeably had commit? Or will the police help them keep their newly caught black man? Well, the cops are here, and you're about to find out. They need to move and they need to let me out of here. <laughs> No, I'm settled. I'm settled. They've been holding me here for, for 10 minutes. I got the whole thing on recording. I'm not, they're not looking in my car because they don't have a warrant. They won't get in it. No, I'm staying right here. <laughs> What's your name and badge number, please, sir? Deputy no, right Mason. there doesn't work. What'd you say? Deputy Mason. What's your badge number? 3419. And, and what is his badge number over there? I need to know his. No, I need to know everybody's name and badge. I'm not giving my name. I didn't commit a crime. Well, I didn't commit a crime. No, I didn't commit a crime, though. There was no crime. They're not letting me out of here. They're not letting me out of here. I need to be free to go. We can, we can let you out of here. Hmm? I didn't know who you were. No, 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 you're not. Because, that's, because hey, this is not a stop and ID state. Michigan is not. I got my First Amendment to stay, to stay secure in my privacy. Now, he's right about a few things. Number one, Michigan is not a stop and ID state. Even if it was, the police still couldn't ask for his identification unless there was probable cause or reasonable articulable suspicion to believe that he had been, is currently in the commission of, or is about to engage in an ordinance violation, misdemeanor, or felony. Absent that RAS, a citizen is never compelled to give a law enforcement officer their identification. Now, a lot of cops out there will do the same thing that this cop is doing. I need your ID. It's part of my report. I just need to know who I'm talking to. A police officer's wants or needs should never be part of your day. And they're certainly not required. But the cops will never start off by telling you that. You'll never have a cop walk up to you and say, I have no reason to believe you have been involved in a crime or are about to be involved in a crime. You certainly have no legal obligation to give me your identification. I'm just kindly requesting to see it. Feel free to refuse if you want. And why don't cops say that? Because you'll never give them your ID and they'll never get what they want. 
So they leave you under the impression that you have to give it or else. They don't want to let me out of here because they have some rule where you have to check the back, which is fine. That's a rule that has nothing to do with me. I came in here to pick up a DoorDash, picked it up right here in the passenger seat. You can see it. I never got out of the car. I sat in the car the whole time, never got out of the car. The person handed it to me through the window. And then when I got here, he's like, well, we got to check the back of your car. No, 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 sir. You're not checking my car. And I get that they have whatever they have going over here, but that's not happening. They're going to let me out of here. If they don't want me here, I won't come back here, but they're going to let me out of here. I didn't commit a crime. You're not getting my ID. You know or nor are you looking at my car. And that won't happen. Negative. Do you see the door dash order? Huh? No. No. You can see from right there. See? That's the door dash order. Can you see the door dash order on my phone? No, because I'm recording. Now we talk about the plain view doctrine and things being in plain sight. A law enforcement officer looking at something that's clearly visible to the public without touching you or your property doesn't violate your Fourth Amendment right. And it's clear as day that there's a DoorDash order with his name sitting in the passenger seat. And despite being refused identification and this man standing on his Fourth Amendment right, now they're going to ask to see his phone. Without a search warrant signed by a judge or your consent, the police can't look at or through any of your items. And the next thing they're going to do is try and imply a trespass to gain his identification that way. But good luck proving to a jury in a court of law that a person who was kidnapped and held against their will on a property was at the same time trespassing on that property. We need your ID because you're trespassing. I'm being held against my will. I want to go. That sounds like trespassing. Maybe in cop logic it does, but not in a court of law. Additionally, under Michigan statute, to trespass, you have to be given the opportunity to leave and then refuse that opportunity. They stopped him, racially profiled him, held him against his will, and despite over 60 verbal attempts to try and leave the property, they didn't allow him. He was never given the opportunity to leave. So he never trespassed. Well, he never trespassed anyways because he was kidnapped. No, because I'm recording. So they, they know, they know, they know I have a door that's order. You can talk to the, you can talk to Cameron who brought it to me. Cameron who works here. Not that fat mother, but Cameron back there who works there. He brought the door that's order. What's my, you're not getting my name. I, sir, you're a public servant. You're, you're bound by your policy to give your name. Me, I'm a private citizen who didn't commit a crime. But, I, but you can then call me a human then. Just call me sir. Just call me sir. Sir works just fine. All right, sir. Because you don't need to know my name. Like, no, you're not getting my... Sir, once again, <laughs> you, you, why do y'all try this stuff? These cops have been told no 15 times. You're not getting ID. But they still don't understand the meaning of the word no. I wonder if that plays out in their personal lives. Well, we know it doesn't play out in their personal lives. In a blind study, over 40% of law enforcement officers have admitted to domestic violence. Clearly, the word no means yes to cops. Instead of no, maybe they should be saying, Okay! Like, I'm a very, but I hear you. I just told you what's going on. They, they want to look in the back of my car and they're not going to. <laughs> and I want to leave. I would like to be allowed to go. That's why I need to be allowed to go. There's no, there's nobody looking in my car. <laughs> No, I'm not answering anything. I'm not answering questions because I don't answer anymore. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remain silent until you guys let me go. That's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not answering all these questions. I didn't do anything wrong. He won't let me out. He thinks you guys are going to make me let you look in here. That's what they think by calling y'all. So they tried to get a response and they got it. They got it. Lucas, right? Lucas, you said you're going to get a response, right? You're going to get a response, right, Lucas? <laughs> Once you go and do what? Once you go and do what? Once you go and do what? Him and I are talking. No, you got. You know what? Give your ID with you. No, I don't. I'm not giving it. I didn't commit a crime. They want. They want me gone. I'm leaving. I'm trying to leave. He told me not to come back. I said I'm not coming back. But you're not going to get my ID. That's not how the law works. That's not how the trespass works. You, uh, you still at law 47. I'm not nowhere. I'm nowhere. I'm not answering questions to you. <laughs> you can think whatever you want to think, and you can do whatever you want to do. But you're going to let me go. <laughs> and they're not getting inside of this car. <laughs> And they're gonna let me go, and, I, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna sue him. Like you charge Louis Fowler because you call police for no reason because you are holding me illegally for now almost going on 15, 20 minutes because five minutes before this started you held me. So like I said, my lawyer gonna have a field day with this. Shit. Who's gonna let me go? Are you gonna let me go? Are you gonna let me go? Yeah, you don't see shit 
in there, didn't you? I told him you're gonna look from this from the front. I told you he was gonna look from out here, you fat, stupid b I told you what he was gonna do. Look, you can look from all there public, right, sir? Exactly, but you can't open it, right? Well, not without my consent, because I'd have to commit a crime, and you'd have to have a warrant, you have to have a lot of circumstances for you to open my car. So they held me, they held me illegally, right? They are holding me illegally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I want, oh, yeah. They're holding me illegally. Yep. But I'm not under that deal. Yeah, but I don't mean I have to, but that don't mean I got to let them That's search my shit, right. though, because I'm not getting on a plane and nor am I willing to do business oh. with them. I'm not doing business with them. I would like to be gone. So you're going to keep looking all in my car in the totes. <laughs> I'm a delivery driver. I deliver all day. You look in the totes all you want. That's all you're going to do is look in the damn totes. You won't open it. <laughs> Yeah, won't open it. I tried to tell you, Lucas. I bet you guys got all hyped up today for nothing. You gonna see yourself on, you said, this guy right here, the little, the little squirrely right there said he wanted to see himself on Facebook. You're going to, trust me, trust me. You'll get to see yourself on the Facebook, Lucas. <laughs> you will, you will, you'll be everywhere. So now these cops are gonna make one more attempt at an illegal trespass. And it doesn't work out well for the cops or Menards. And what happens next is absolutely incredible. This DoorDash driver channels his inner little John. And he is so overwhelmed and overcome by his victory that he brings back the early 2000s in a big way. So can I leave now? No, I need to leave. I need to leave. I need to leave. I need to leave. He's going to tell you. I need to leave. No, I don't. I don't. I don't care what he's got to say because that's not my name and I need to leave. That's what I need to do. I'm going back in my car. I'm not listening to nothing you got to say. You fat bitch. I don't give a damn what you got to say. La 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 la. Bling blah bloom. Don't nobody give a shit. Free to go? Am I free to go? Am I free to go? Am I free to go? That's all I need to know. Am I free to go? Other than that, you get your fat ass my face yeah yeah we out of here right free to go you're gonna be on youtube yeah walk of shame like i told you i'm getting the f out of here i told you i'm leaving you will never hold me hoes yeah yeah and just like that, they had to let the black man that they illegally captured go. And this guy told the cops, Officer, snap your finger. Do your step. You can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. See what I did there? I heard this video. I saw this video. I understood this video. It connected with me. Because I went through that same rush. Once this guy realized that because he was educated and well-prepared, he beat two illegal searches by a private company and a bunch of cops, he was filled with adrenaline. And that adrenaline came out as a 2000 Lil John song. But you should all be recording the police, just like Giggin' It Good did. And by the way, check out his channel and his original video. Both will be in the description of this one. Set your notification bell to always, and make sure to tell him that Accountability for All sent you. And thank him for the good work he's doing. He's just out there trying to make a living. And we should all be able to do that, and be free from the tyranny of police or any person. And that's the reason I stopped you today. Hello? What? Yeah! Oh!